Hello and welcome to Inside Electronics. And in today's episode, we are going to take a look at a parcel that I got from eBay. And it says nowhere that it is from eBay, but it is actually from eBay. And at the description, you can see that it is a power bank kit. So, actually, what this thing is, it is a DIY power bank kit that I bought from eBay, but just to confirm that I already opened it but trust me I haven't yet taken out the contents so I just opened it just to make sure that it is the actual product but it's now I'm going to take it out so let's see what's inside so I'm taking it out and that's it packaging is really of poor quality if I need to see there's only a bubble wrap and this this is actually a fragile, item, fragile item. As you can see, there is no brand name on this. How oh, this is a Ziploc type cover here. There's nothing else inside. It's just empty all the way. This is actually really poor packaging, but that is to be expected for this price range. I bought this for around 350 rupees, which is really cheap for a power bank DIY kit like this one. And it, this. Ziploc packaging itself is actually generic. There is no branding or anything else apart from something that says like that. Maybe it is a uh, CD number for something. I don't know, but I don't see any kind of branding or anything in this one. So let's take it out. When I tried to purchase this one, there was many color options available like red green blue black and uh, orange yellow and something like that just for random i ordered this green color here and there are some bits and place pieces flying around let's see what all things are in here so this is the outer cover okay it has the led uh, reflector or the whatever that thing that is used to pass the LED light through here is already fitted here but the switch which is this thing here is the switch which needs to be attached here like that probably so it looks this way actually it feels quite nice it, even though it's only says power bank here this feels really nice to touch and on the other side it says 20,000 milliamp power 5 volt 1 amp output 2.5 what okay it's 5 volt 2.1 amps 5 volt 1 amp so this thing this thing has as you can see here this thing has four USB ports and that is why it says ports 1 and 2 is 5 volt 2.1 amp 3 and 4 is 5 volt 1 amp so this is actually a four port USB device and if you look at the copper coil here this is actually a pretty thick coil so I, I actually think that this can handle amp because I have a one amp coil lying somewhere around that is not this thick this one has very few components in it here here is the on here is the on switch followed by four LEDs 100% 75 50 25 percent of charge say this there is a there is an LED right there four ports pretty much nothing on this side and only a single chip followed by some components up there so if you see this is an if you can read that it's an IP5306 chip actually I when I when I'm trying to purchase this when I already looked up the data sheet for this thing here and it says this chip is actually 2.5 amp supported this chip can handle up to 2.5 amperes and yeah 
I think this is pretty neat and I know this thing does not have any kind of balance charging or any other functionalities and no, I forgot to mention that this charging base this thing can handle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 18, 6, 50 cells and like and by the looks of this is actually this is an this is protected cell protected to uh, 2 milliamp or 3.7 volt cell here and this thing can actually hold that one also this game can fit we can actually fit protected cells in also but the cells that i'm having are not protected and i bought this thing because i this i made this power bank recently with, from some uh, scrap components that i'm having i'm using original samsung 2500 milliamp power batteries and there are two four six of them that's why I ordered six compartment I mean six battery power bank case and this thing actually runs quite nice I can actually charge my cell phone three times from this thing and this thing also does not have any kind of balance charging or such features this works on the regular DWO1 based protection circuit the 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 very common circuit you can find online this base this is based on that thing so I'm going to take the batteries from here and I'm going to actually <coughs> place it in here and make it a look more pleasing so that is the purpose that is the actual reason why I'm, I bought this Chinese power bank so on some other episode i'm actually going to take apart this power bank here and i'm going to build this new one and i will actually do a video about that when i'm actually doing it so that's it for today this is the chinese Power Bank. Thanks for watching.